Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics demonstrating how to make animated GIFs, G-I-Fs. Normally GIFs do not animate, but they have them all over the internet and they're little bitty cartoons that loop. I've got a regular video right here. It's a cat video. It's an MP4 home movie. And uh, I'm going to show the program that runs this. It's a QGIFR and I go QGIFR and I'm opening it up and it says in order to put a video into the system you go Control Shift V Control Shift V and I'm going to see what I can get Control Shift V there we go and now I'm going to add this video that's on my desktop to it if I were to hit start right now up here it would just show one frame and it says altogether that there are 157 frames in this 0 to 156 so I can progressively up this number and I've got it set for loop right now so let's just go 0 through 25 and when I hit play down here you're gonna see it goes up to about this far or so and then start over again continuously so let's see what it looks like now I can add more make the video longer and longer and I can start not at the beginning but instead of uh, I can start in the middle somewhere you can just pick any two points that you want to now in order to render this video I need to do a couple of things I'm gonna get the current frame and that is going to be the aspect of the of the video right here and you've got uh, preview properties margins filters output properties and you can keep going down here and it's gonna show you all the the things that are available that you can alter when you want to uh, uh, goof with it you can see th this is opening a project uh, opening a video you can save a project midstream and then go get a cup of coffee and come back to it I suppose save a project we're just going to do the whole nine yards and uh, render the whole thing this is extract the GIF I'm going to do that right now and since I have got 41 frames you can see approximately how long this takes and it's graying out it's using a lot of the processing power of the computer and after I get done I can save it on the desktop and then watch that GIF and see if it's correct you can alter it and do it over again as many times as you want to until you get it just right now the thing about a GIF file is I am not sure but I don't think you can add sound and they're mostly for stuff like cartoons and uh, uh, jerky movement sort of things but this the file size is quite small and uh, that's why they put them on the internet you'll see them in ads up in the corner sometimes okay we're almost there and I can alter it uh, right here I'm going to go that's what it looks like right now let me zoom in on it uh, I'm going to stop it pause and it shows one frame every 50 milliseconds now if I were to change that and add a zero and then play it it'll it'll play slower but I I still think the file size is the same now let's see save it and I'm gonna put it up on the desktop and there it is let me close this and let me close this or just diminish it
and I'm going to run this GIF. This is now a GIF. This was the original file up here. This is the screencaster uh, video tutorial that I'm making right now and this is the GIF that I made. You can actually uh, rename the darn thing. I'll just call it uh, one. And let's play it and see what it looks like. So far nothing. Ah, there we go. It's rather slow, rather jerky. That's my kitty cat Cindy. Now normally you would do this with cartoons and such. There is a way you can make these GIFs from FFmpeg, but this is a graphical user interface program and you just saw a moment ago how it looped. If you catch these things just right, you can make them loop without a gap where they don't look like they're starting over again. They look like they're continuous motion. And that's how they make all of these uh, silly videos on the internet. This is pretty much all I got. It's called QGIF and you can download it and I think it works great. My name is Pop and I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics and I thank you very very much.